Welcome to Retired Time Productions. This is how to install the FreeSky D4R-2 receiver into the Emacs Nighthawk Pro 280 Mini Quad. So the cables are already connected and we're going to be using PPM mode with just this one wire. The instructions say to jump our channels 3 and 4 on the receiver and then the PPM will be output on channel 1. So the jumper is placed on the last two pins as shown. Channel 1 from the receiver port on the quad is connected to these three pins which are the minus, the plus, and the signal. So here I go connecting the wire from the receiver port channel 1 on the quad to channel 1 on the D4R-2. So after creating a model on my Tyrannus, I go into page 2, model setup, scroll up using the plus key till you get to the internal transmitter, and make sure it's on channel 1 through 8 for the range. And make sure it's on D8 for the mode. Then just press enter and go down to bind. Press enter again. And now we're in bind mode. We're ready to bind the receiver. Hold in the failsafe button with something sharp while plugging in the battery. It binds almost immediately. You can see the rapid blinking light. Now you can let go and it's bound. Unplug the battery and take the transmitter off bind and then we can just go ahead and press exit and we're done. Now we're going to use the base flight configurator which I previously downloaded and installed. See links under the video for this. Now plugging the USB cable into the Nighthawk Pro. Connect the other end of the USB cable to the computer. Press the connect button on base flight configurator. Now uh, Mark from 2Dog has some excellent videos on calibrating the accelerometer and the magnetometer and all the rest of the stuff on base flight so you can see his stuff but for now we're going into configuration enable the PPM right there and we're also going to turn on the one shot which was recommended by Mark also down here I have this set which is uh, Spectrum 1024 it was just that way already but I just thought I'd mention it. And you can look at the other settings to make sure they're the same. I didn't change any of them, but it, that's how they are. Then we have to save the settings, so scroll down, find the Save button, and save the settings. You can see when it says Ready right here at the top, Rebooting and Ready. Then Disconnect. Remove the cable from the computer and from the quadcopter. So now let's turn on the Tyrannus transmitter and test the PPM mode. Okay, plugging in the battery so we can test PPM mode. The lights are already on and it initializes. Now let's give it a test on the motors by going ahead and arm the quadcopter. And then we'll run the throttle. And now we can run the motors. And then we can disarm. Since we won't be using these extra wires here, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And the way we do that is we remove the connector by using the back side of an X-Acto blade and then just pull it out. Now I'm just going to use a needle to pry up the tabs and remove the extra seven wires that I don't need. Here's a little fast motion video of me just removing the wires, lifting the tabs, and then pulling the wires out. So we still have the little connectors that are on the end of the wire so they can be put back in later if we decide that we need to use the wires for some purpose. There is the finished job. Now installing the cable connector back into the socket on the receiver port on the quad. Using the back side of my X-Acto knife again. So let's just run another test to make sure the PPM still works by arming it and throttling up the motors.
So I have the receiver held down with some of this double stick 3M tape and then I've uh, run the antenna wires up through the holes and laid them alongside some tie wraps. We'll then secure it with some heat shrink tubing. So here's the antennas with the heat shrink installed over them and you can see the receiver down inside there. Here's a little side view of it. You might be able to see it better. The Quad did come with an antenna mount kit, but I found some of the parts were a little bit brittle and might break, so I opted out of that and just used the tie wraps. Here, play. Like. 